The story follows the alien expeditionary forces from the Andromeda galaxy as they arrive on a desolate Earth, expecting conquest but instead find ruins and the remnants of humanity's self-destruction. The coming narrative promises to sweep you off your feet, guiding you through thrilling events and adventurous turns in surprising ways. Let's begin. Chapter 1 The Arrival In the distant future of 3010, Earth had become a planet of myths and legends, a story told across the stars. So when the alien expeditionary forces, a coalition of species from the Andromeda galaxy, set their sights on Earth, expecting a jewel ripe for conquest, what they found instead was a mystery wrapped in silence. Their arrival was marked by the crossing of the vast interstellar voids, a journey that had taken centuries of preparation and decades of travel. They arrived in sleek vessels that cut through the Earth's atmosphere like knives through cloth, their technology far beyond anything the ancient Earthlings had ever imagined. Expectation hung in the air like a tangible force. The aliens had heard tales of Earth's wonders, its civilizations that spanned continents and reached for the stars. But as they descended, the truth laid itself bare before their eyes. The cities, once towering and magnificent, were now crumbling ruins, their spires broken and streets empty. Forests that had teemed with life were now barren wastelands, their once lush canopies reduced to ash. The oceans, famed for their blue beauty, were choked with debris, their surfaces reflecting the desolation that had claimed the planet. Confusion and disbelief rippled through the ranks of the alien expeditionary forces. Had they come too late? Where were the inhabitants, the humans known for their resilience and ingenuity? Scans revealed no signs of life, no heartbeat of a civilization that had once dominated this world. Yet, amid their disappointment, the aliens saw an opportunity. Earth, in its desolation, was an unclaimed territory, a blank slate on which they could inscribe their future. The decision was made to establish a foothold to claim what remained of this once vibrant planet as their own. As they began to explore, to dig into the ruins, and uncover the layers of Earth's past, they stumbled upon secrets long buried. Beneath the surface, hidden in the depths of the planet, were archives, vaults filled with the knowledge of millennia. They told the tale of Earth's downfall, not at the hands of an external force, but through the slow poison of neglect and war, of a civilization that had turned on itself, consuming its resources until there was nothing left but echoes of its existence. The aliens were not the first to come seeking Earth's treasures. Others had come before, drawn by the same tales of a planet rich in resources and ripe for the taking. But they, too, had found only the remnants of what had been, leaving behind them artifacts of their expeditions, now added to the layers of Earth's history. In their exploration, the alien expeditionary forces discovered pockets of life, resilient species that had survived the planet's collapse. These creatures, some familiar from the ancient archives and others never before seen by human eyes, had adapted to the new Earth, finding ways to thrive amidst the ruins. Intrigued and humbled by these discoveries, the aliens began to shift their perspective. Earth was not a prize to be claimed, but a lesson to be learned. They saw in its fate a mirror of their potential future, a cautionary tale of what could happen if they did not change their path. As they delved deeper into the archives, they uncovered the final messages of Earth's last inhabitants, pleas for forgiveness, and warnings for the future. These voices from the past spoke of hope, too, a belief that life could endure and could find a way to blossom even in the aftermath of devastation. Moved by these discoveries, the alien expeditionary forces made a decision that would alter their mission entirely. They would not claim Earth for themselves, but would instead become its custodians. They began the work of restoration, using their advanced technology not to dominate but to heal. They planted new forests, cleansed the oceans, and rebuilt the ruins not as monuments to conquest, but as memorials to the resilience of life. In time, Earth began to heal. New life took root among the ruins, and the planet slowly awoke from its long slumber. The aliens, once seen as conquerors, 
became known as the Guardians of Earth, protectors of a world that had been given a second chance. The arrival of the alien expeditionary forces, which had begun as a mission of conquest, became a turning point for Earth. It marked the beginning of a new era, not just for the planet, but for the aliens themselves. They had come seeking a world to conquer but had found a cause to unite them, a purpose that went beyond the boundaries of conquest and colonization. As they watched Earth bloom anew, the Guardians realized that their greatest discovery was not the planet itself, but the understanding that even in the darkest moments, there is always a possibility for renewal, for life to find a way. Earth, with its history of beauty and tragedy, became a beacon of hope, a testament to the power of resilience and the enduring spirit of life itself. And so, as the sun set on a day unlike any Earth had seen in centuries, the Guardians looked to the future, to the work that lay ahead. They knew the path would be long and the challenges great, but they also knew that they were no longer mere explorers or conquerors. They were stewards of a world reborn, a world that had taught them the true meaning of survival and the priceless value of a second chance. Hashtag, 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 chapter two, unveiling the truth. As the guardians of earth delved into their role as protectors and restorers, they encountered an unforeseen revelation that would forever alter their understanding of the planet they had come to save. The discovery of a series of underground tunnels was the first step in a journey that would lead them to a hidden chamber, a repository of earth's last days. This hidden chamber, buried beneath layers of rubble and time, was a vault of humanity's final moments. The aliens found artifacts, personal belongings left behind in a hurried escape, and records that spoke of a world on the brink. As they pieced together the fragments of history, a picture emerged of a civilization that had known its end was coming. The records detailed a catastrophic event, not a slow decline into oblivion, but a sudden, devastating blow that had extinguished the bright flame of human civilization almost overnight. It was not an asteroid or a natural disaster that had caused this apocalypse, but something far more chilling, a war not against an external enemy, but one that pitted humans against humans, fueled by fear and misunderstanding. This war had unleashed weapons of terrifying power technologies that had been developed with the promise of defending humanity, but which had instead led to its downfall. The earth had been scared, its landscapes altered beyond recognition, and its cities reduced to ash in the blink of an eye. The guardians were shaken by this revelation. They had encountered many civilizations in their travels, some that had fallen to external threats, others that had succumbed to environmental collapse. But never had they seen such a self-inflicted wound, a species that had turned its greatest achievements into the instruments of its demise. As they explored further, they uncovered more than just the cause of humanity's downfall. They found stories of heroism and desperation, of individuals who had fought to save what could be saved, to preserve knowledge and culture in the face of annihilation. These were the voices of the scientists who had sealed the archives, of the families who had hidden in the tunnels, hoping against hope to survive. And then, in the deepest part of the chamber, they found something unexpected, a message, not from the past, but for the future. It was a plea from the last leaders of Earth, a warning and a hope. They had seen the end coming and had known that they could not stop it, but they had also believed that life could one day return to Earth, that from the ashes, a new beginning could emerge. This message spoke directly to the Guardians, to the beings from across the stars who had come to Earth with intentions of conquest but had found a cause greater than themselves. It reminded them of their potential for self-destruction, of the dangers of fear and misunderstanding. But it also spoke of forgiveness, of the possibility of change and growth. Moved by these discoveries, the Guardians realized that their mission was not just to restore Earth but to honor the legacy of those who had lived there. They began to broadcast the message they had found, sending it into the depths of space, a beacon for any who might listen. It was a declaration of Earth's history, of its tragedy and its hope, a call to other civilizations to learn from humanity's mistakes. As they worked to rebuild, 
The Guardians also sought to understand more about the humans who had once inhabited the planet. They studied the archives, learned about Earth's cultures and philosophies, and explored the remnants of its natural beauty. They found that, despite its end, humanity had loved its home deeply and had struggled to protect and cherish it. This understanding deepened the Guardians' commitment to their task. They became not just protectors but also students of Earth, learning from its history and inspired by its stories of resilience and creativity. They introduced new species to the planet, carefully chosen to maintain its ecological balance, and watched as life slowly returned to the barren landscapes. Years turned into decades, and the Earth began to flourish once again. Forests grew tall and wild, oceans teemed with life, and the air filled with the sounds of creatures that had never before known this world. And among this burgeoning life, the Guardians walked a constant presence, custodians of a world reborn. But their greatest achievement was not the restoration of the planet's ecosystems or the preservation of its history. It was the foundation they laid for a new civilization, one built on the lessons of the past. They established centers of learning, libraries that housed the knowledge of both Earth and the stars, inviting beings from across the galaxy to come and learn, to share in the story of Earth and its people. This new civilization was one of diversity and cooperation, a melting pot of species and cultures that lived in harmony with the planet and with each other. The mistakes of the past were remembered not as a burden but as a guide, a reminder of the path not to take. And so, Earth became a symbol of hope, not just for the life it harbored, but for the galaxy at large. It stood as proof that even the greatest of falls could be followed by a rise, that from the ashes of destruction, a new world could be built, guided by wisdom and compassion. The Guardians, once seen as alien invaders, were now revered as the saviors of Earth, the keepers of its history, and the founders of its future. They had come seeking a world to claim, but had found a mission greater than any they had imagined. A mission not of conquest, but of restoration and redemption. As the sun set on a world reborn, the Guardians looked to the stars, their hearts filled with hope. Earth was their home now, a testament to their journey from conquerors to protectors, from strangers to stewards of a planet that had taught them the true meaning of survival and renewal. In the vastness of space, Earth shone brightly, a beacon of life, love, and the endless possibilities of a new beginning.